Hey guys. So welcome to Morning Motivation. Just as a brief public service announcement, um, these videos are also posted to Instagram TV and YouTube. So if you want to subscribe and you know not have to visit my page each morning, you know the subscription can then just come to you, be in your inbox, and you can get the notifications that way. But with that aside, one of the things that um, you know that I've seen on the unit, I help people with like anger management and we work through you know sensitivities and depression anxiety a lot of those are actually can be connected to the way that uh, we interact with others and one of those ways is when we get offended and so if you find that you are easily offended or you know not even just so easily offended but you just find that you are getting defensive when somebody disagrees with your views you know maybe you're feeling hurt or you just express it as anger and you just get really you know angry about it and you lash back or you you have some response back that is not kind or loving <laughs> um, and I think all of us have been there at different times um, it can be really hard not to get sucked into those kind of responses because you know we we view that we are a lot of times attached to the way that we are responding so for instance like my beliefs if somebody attacks what I believe well we feel that they are attacking us like we feel we are attacked and instead realizing that your views are not your your you your views are not you your opinions are are a part of you and I know it can seem a little strange but everyone has a different kind of opinion and so the more that we can kind of detach ourselves from our opinions and say look you know I really care about you as a person and I don't agree with your belief or your your thought on this um, or the belief or the thought on this and really detach it from ourselves and so so for instance um, sometimes I talk to other people who are vegans um, you know sometimes people who are really passionate about their religion or their political stance and we can we can really um, hold tight to our way of doing it. And it's like, so, you know, you say it's a different way of doing it. And how many of you have been caught up in those Facebook battles or those Instagram, like, I don't know about Instagram, but Facebook battles or those times where like, you know, you, you just, you know, some, one of your friends says something and you're like, ah, like you just attack. And because you have different political stances or whatever. Um, and a lot of times this happens with people that we don't know, you know, if it is on social media or something and we can, we can take that on and, and get really upset about that and take it personally because we don't know this person. We don't know the heart behind it, but the more that we can kind of recognize, okay, well, that's your, your opinion and your view. I don't have to take it personally. So then it takes a lot of the, the emotion and the energy and the charge and the anger that can build up because of you know what they've what they've said and so um so one of the things that we talk about in dealing with this issue of being easily offended or you know getting defensive is just to recognize that you are not your views separating yourself from that as well so because they disagree with your views does not mean that you are a bad person doesn't mean that they're a bad person and um, recognizing even if they do attack 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 your view you can say, okay, you know, and ask some questions about that and say, you know, have have those kind of tough conversations where it's like, okay, so is that what you believe or is that, you know, your perspective? Okay, and just kind of listening and working on understanding the other person rather than trying to be the loudest voice. And I think a lot of times when we feel attacked, we want to you know, dominate even more and we want to shout back. And the problem is if everybody's shouting, nobody's listening and nothing is actually being communicated effectively. You know, neither person can grow if they're just both shouting at each other and angry. So the more that we can listen and understand and dive into more of a, a curiosity and an understanding of the other perspective, we can empathize with them, we can understand maybe where they're coming from. And this can be really hard when the things that are in the balance are so important to us and they really can feel like they're down to our core, um, but also recognizing that that person is another person. You know, that's another human being. You don't know their, their stance. You don't know their, 
background or their history. Maybe if you'd been through the same things that they've been through, you would see it more from their angle or their perspective. And many times it's so valid, both perspectives and both sides. And so understanding that each person is going to be coming from a different place and it's really not anybody's place to say my my opinion or my view is 100% right or 100% better than your opinion. So many times it's just we have different understandings or different perspectives or experiences or challenges that have brought us to that decision. And so the more that we can listen and understand and ask questions, empathize with the other side, and also detach ourselves from our opinions and views and recognize you're not attacking me, you're, atta you're looking at the view, and that's what you're addressing. So there are a lot more tips where that came from, but that's one of the things that, um, that I really work through a lot with people. So I hope that's helpful, and I will see you guys. Wait, is today Friday? Today's Friday. So I'll see you on Monday. I hope you guys have a great weekend.